Hey, I'm Steve Tillman down on the beautiful banks of the St. John's River with you today. High top, 2005 Blazer Bay 2220. And let me tell you something, she is in beautiful shape. You know what, on the bow of this boat, there is a Mini Coda uh, Riptide Edition uh, trolling motor. 101 pounds of thrust, and uh, she's in really nice shape. The hull looks great. I've been all over it. I haven't seen any any damage to it. These VMAX decals are beautiful. Uh, there's no peeling up on the edges and they're not scuffed. Come on around here and we'll walk around it. Nice swim platform on the back of the boat. Composite construction, limited lifetime warranty. You gotta love that. No wood in the boat, who doesn't love it? Okay, look at this. Flats jack, jacking plate. Real nice and clean. Real nice and clean. The, the C bracket looks nice and clean. She's got C star, uh, she's got C star uh, hydraulic steering. Somebody's put a fin on the back of it. Four bladed stainless steel prop. The skeg's nice and clean. See how pretty, see how pretty 200 horsepower. But anyway, she, it's just it's nice and clean. No surprises. See, I didn't I didn't paint up the bottom to hide anything. There it is. This is nice and clean as it can be. Props pretty. Okay, I just wanted you to see underneath this cowling. Uh, you know, when I see the head bolts looking real nice and clean, uh, you know, and you're looking, the, you know, the plugs don't have any rust around them. Uh, you know, uh, the, the, big, the big aluminum uh, for the carburetors, you know, see it all looks real nice. You know, it just, it's, just, it's just a clean motor. Come look at the other side. But, I mean, both heads just look real nice. The guy put grease on the, you know, the guy was real conscientious about keeping grease on the latches and everything. The big aluminum looks good. All the wiring and everything looks nice. Got little signs of corrosion right here. Uh, on the very bottom, which I think you're going to see that, you know, boat's been fished. Of course, she's right on a 2005 uh, Starlight tandem axle aluminum I beam trailer. It's in really nice shape. The A is missing. I'm going to call Blazer Bay and see if I can find the A. But just take a look. Let's go down the side. The side rails are in great shape. The rub rails are in nice shape. Fuel tanks on the right hand side. All kind of storage. I'll show you when we get in the boat. Instead of the canvas, uh, a fabric for the T-top. It's got that rubberized marine type vinyl stuff. Boy, let me tell you something. They did a nice job building this top. And I don't, you, you'll get able to be able to see it, but on the side, the ladder is built in one, two, three, four, five, and these have treads on every single one of them. This is what she looks like with the uh, tower down. Let me show you how easy it is to uh, put it up. All I do is I've got a, a tether that is attached right there. I bring her around, I come up the side ladder, whip it around, say, come here, girl. Put a little bit of heave ho. And then you are in. Of course, you don't want to forget your thumb screws. Just take them, tighten them on up, and you're done. Okay, just want to show you that the raw water wash down is working. There she is. And she comes with a 25 foot hose. Hard to believe this little slinky's a 25 foot hose. Alright, just going to show you that the big live well back here in the back. And I tell you, that's probably, that's probably 15 gallons, 15 gallons approximately. The only to it. So she's working. On the port side, it is huge storage on this side. Okay? Huge storage on this side. Of course, I'm sitting in a swivel seat. Okay, live, uh, live well we just showed you. And on uh, the uh, starboard side is, uh, uh -oh, is um, uh, another battery and then your oil tank for uh, your two-cycle oil. You know, these are designed to have uh, tackle shelves in them. But, you know, you can put whatever you want. And, of course, you can always put a uh, cooler underneath the leaning post. Ford Gold uh, rod holders in the back. Nice uh, foot rest. Want you to see the uh, live well for the bow, for the bow of uh, Fisherman. Nice job uh, Blazer Bay did on the embroidered marine vinyl. And then just a multitude of storage in the boat. 
this has been the uh, previous uh, owner has lined this with foam for uh, cooler insulation sort of thing I guess for a fish box and then a nice uh, box right here with two drain holes in it that goes up probably about oh wow probably about a foot and a half maybe two feet rod storage on the port and starboard side same way same way and then a spot up front for a Ford um, uh, fishing seat and then of course up in the very front where it's in a uh, carved out blazer bay is for your anchor locker it's got a recessible uh, bow cleat and then here's your hookup on the left hand side for your uh, mini coda and notice now this does not have a, a foot pedal this is all driven by your handhold uh, right here nice job up front let me show you what they did right here you can, trim the, you, can trim the, you can trim the engine from the bow. So you're up here fishing. You're up here fishing and uh, you want to go into some shallows. You just take your big old, you take your big old toe and boom, and you're going into the flats. Okay, two rod holders on each side. Okay, and then uh, two rod holders on the uh, starboard side. I mean, the, t the, top is, the top is in beautiful polished condition. Of course, it's got gold rod holders up top, two gold rod holders up top. And I guess if I was up there and I saw something I liked, I'd be cast into it. If I saw, a, you know, some type of shallow water fish or tarpon or redfish that I could psst, throw over to him, get him all excited. Okay, nice Garmin 240 uh, fish finder. And then, of course, horn, nav lights, live well I showed you, bilge pump, raw water wash down, courtesy lights accessories and then the jacking plate trim and then of course trim right here on the throttle for the uh, engine and of course she has a uh, VHF radio okay let's wind her up and see what she'll do now listen Woo! hers like a, a Japanese kitty cat Boy, I tell you what, we picked a nice day to show you how she'll handle We've got about, we've got about a foot to a foot and a half of slop out here in the, in the uh, wide part of the river today. So just hang on with us now and we're going to wind her up and show you what she'll do, okay? You folks that know these nice boats, hey, let me tell you something, this is a nice boat. Gee, what a deal. All right, now come out. Come on now, hang on now. Hey, nice boat, good price. Call me during normal business hours, Steve Tillman, 1-866-935-0272. I'll tell you everything I know. You folks outside the country, South America, Europe, Australia, wherever you're at, you might have an easier time calling me at 904-509-4336, or you can uh, email me at Steve is Surfing. S-T-E-V-E-I-S-S-U-R-F-I-N-G. Steve is surfing at hotmail.com. Hey, make it a safe day on the river, okay? Don't forget to wear your sunscreen. Take care.